Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. I'm here with the reviews of the Shake Weight. The Shake Weight Challenge has been over, it's over. It's been over for almost a month now and I'm finally able to get around. I've caught kinda up and I can do the video now. So, how did it go? Is it worth buying? Does it really work? All those good things will be addressed and answered right here after my sip of coffee. Well, first off, what I did with the Shake Weight is I used it every single day for probably somewhere around 15 minutes. Um, I did it every day for like the first week and I started feeling uh, like right here, some sort of pain-ish that I felt like I was about to snap that ligament or something back there. So I had to take a, uh, I took a rest day every week after that. So I did this from I think it was July 25th through August 25th. I took probably, there was one week toward the end because I was so aggressive with it. Because <clears throat> you got to keep pushing yourself, keep tricking your body as much as possible by changing up your routines with it. Don't just let it be a mechanical process that takes place in the same order, the same way every time. Try to push and push and push, just like anything else. If you're trying to work out to build muscle, it's kind of the same principle with it, and that was the best way that I, I saw results. And so what would I do? I would do the forward shaking, the forward shaking, um, and I would alternate. I'd do like a set, and one set would be, you know, I'd do it like this until my breaking point, and then I'd swap and do it like this to my breaking point and keep swapping back and forth like that four times with each hand in front. So it's like a total of eight separate times and that was a set and I'd do four sets of those and then I would uh, uh, do behind the head and I'd swap out which hand was on top uh, the same way uh, as I'm doing the front and that would and I'd do four sets of those. Um, and then I would do the side to side shakes. This one's what comes a little different. I do shake, shake on this side until I can't do any more. Swap over as quick as possible. Do the left till I can't do any more. Over here, over here, four times on each side, and that was one set. And I do four sets of those. And then <clears throat> I do that like that for one day, and the next day I'd switch it up and start with the next one in, in the rotation. And then and keep changing it up like that. And then it got to where I would want to change it up and do one set through each and then start all over again. And then kind of go backwards and forwards. And I mean, you're doing this every day, so you're kind of wanting to push your limits as much as humanly possible. And each time you're going to your breaking point with it, it's a little bit farther and a little bit farther each time. So I actually think that I did gain a little muscle, sort of, and things progressed for the better. Things started to look really good, I thought. And, you know, let the picture show for themselves. I took a, a few pictures in the same exact spot, wearing the same exact thing. You can see the before and after. And to me, uh, there's a noticeable gas. One month of something that cost me like five bucks that Tuesday morning. And I think they sell them now for 20 or something like that on Amazon. So shop around at your little discount outlet stores or something. There will probably a few of those sitting on a shelf somewhere. Um, but for the most part, the pros and cons of it. The cons would be, uh, well, the pros would be that I think that it actually burns and you feel a burn. My body would get red. My veins would come up to the surface. Um, just like I was working out uh, with weights and stuff like that. My body reacted the same way, mainly from the bottom of the chest up, down, through the, to the, uh, below the shoulder blades in the back. And, and all your extremities sort of would get it, minus, you know, probably this. But definitely uh, through here, back, the shoulders, the tops of the chest, and, and kind of into the back. And you want to stand shoulder length apart. Uh, kind of, uh, you don't, don't, don't lock your knees. I mean, this is treated just like you were working out in a gym. You want to get in a good, strong posture position, standing up. Don't do it sitting down and really take advantage of every minute to every second of the exercise. And I think you'll get the benefits. It's a cheap 
thing that you can throw in your luggage and 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 you can even uh, uh pound one out in the bathroom if you wanted to with it that's that's cool too whatever you wherever you can do it uh do it knock it out i do pre-brush and mouthwash and brushing teeth so i can do it in the bathroom my pre-brush <clears throat> brush my teeth wash my mouth out do it again in the bathroom it got to where that was a common place for me to do this in private is in the bathroom but uh, so the pros are there's results i don't think there's anything bad to say the only con i can say is be careful where you do it maybe people will be like what the heck's going on and don't sit in your cubicle and all of a sudden start trying to knock one out uh, it may sound a little odd to people i would think especially if there's moaning and groaning which you will be the more you do it the, the more you're pushing yourself and all of a sudden you to me at the toward the end of the week or the month it, it become like a serious workout and i was actually perspiring and sweating and grunting and really straining hard to try to to to, to show the results because plus you know i kind of knew that there was going to be after photos and a comparison so I didn't want to waste my time. I really wanted to give it everything I got for one month. I think the results pretty good. And uh, another con is uh, if you're doing it, uh, be mindful of where you're doing it at in your home and uh, your neighbors might get the wrong idea for some reason. But other than that, it's really hard to find the con about it. Just be careful um, if you're, you know, not accustomed to working out or knowing or familiar with your uh, muscles and your body and you don't know limits very well you might could hurt yourself i guess if you got that aggressive with it and be smart about it and know how to take a break i knew i needed to take a break every once in a while and that's okay you know if whatever but yeah it works so no complaints go out and buy you a shake weight and and shake the hell out of it because I think it works, but it does work a specific muscle group. So if that's all you're doing, you'll look kind of goofy. I'm going to do uh, another month trial of a workout piece of equipment that kind of looks like an adult pacifier. Kind of looks like an adult passy. It may pass us that. So that's a tip. I'll have a debut video for that, a prequel to it uh, before the before I do it, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing so you can maybe buy one and do it yourself and we'll track together or something, I don't know. But uh, I think it works. Like I wanna do stuff like this, like month experiments on stuff that have proven results, sorta, you know, but seem a little gimmicky because I don't wanna waste my time on something that you know is not gonna work. But uh, the next thing I got is pretty cool. I'll, I'll have a video on that, so make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so that you'll see and you'll get those notifications the next time that I roll out with another month long experimental video test thingy review. So thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.